The glory of Babylon has been restored by the reconquest of lands formerly lost to the Elamites, and by ejecting the foreign Kassite rulers from our territories. However, King Nebuchadnezzar I vows that taking back former Babylonian land is not enough. The Elamites must feel his wrath in their homeland. Nebuchadnezzar I has ordered you to attack Susa, the capital of the Elamites, just across the Karun River. In one of their previous raids, the Elamites carted off a golden statue of the most important god of the Babylonians, Marduk. Your task is to recapture it to strengthen Nebuchadnezzar's legitimacy back home. Peoples long oppressed by the Elamites will give you aid in your quest if you can locate them. Alrighty folks, welcome back to the Voice of Babylon campaign. I'm Don Hayes and this is Scenario 5, The Great Hunt. So this is a pretty challenging mission, um, bit of a slow one too, um, just because we don't really start with much other than a couple of archers. Anywho, let's begin. So the main challenge of this mission is the fact that we only start with a couple of troops, none of them are good against buildings. On this difficulty, there is no way to sort of just rush down this mission. So it is very much going to be a case of going for the long haul. Uh, we do need to capture a um, base ASAP Rocky, and we need priests to do that. Going uh, diplomacy for war so that we can actually A, a move into the Villes, basically. Do want to target down the uh, town center, stop the enemy building fills. Um, they can also um, attack you from behind if you're trying to rush down the sentry towers over here. There's a temple here that we need to nab as well. And that will allow us to convert some villagers. So there is a world where we can just run past everything and grab the vills over here, but it is tricky at best to pull that one off. Just because the enemy does kind of hunt you down. But also there is gold mines there that we need to uh, need to obtain because there's no gold on this low portion of the map. Taking this down, it's kind of in our way. It's also where we want to build our uh, TC once we capture everything. Okay, so we do outrange these sentry towers, or watch towers. Slightly. We definitely don't want to be losing uh, the composite archers at this point. Luckily, the watchtowers don't have the most amount of HP, but we need to take these ones down first because they are guiding the priests or the temple. Now there is something to be said for just going and grabbing the cavalry, sending the cavalry over here, grab the uh, vills over there, but you kind of want both a two base economy and you also want to be able to leverage your composite bows for taking down the war elephants alongside the uh, priests. I will however send one guy over just to do an errand. Grab this one. Basically makes conversions and healing more effective. 
And that is pretty much all our gold. So those priests at this moment are irreplaceable. Once we've taken this, we can capture the veils over here, kind of like in this little wall, walled off area. And then we can make a start on the war elephants or the elephant archers. I want to make a start on taking down the wall. I don't really want to destroy the wall before we capture all three vills. Makes uh, capturing them a little bit more difficult. But also, we don't want to waste time either, so... No, don't shoot them either. That would be even worse. Wonderful. So now we can build a TC here. Okay, so there are cavalry over here that we can pick up. We do want to be a little bit careful. We want to try and capture these war elephants. We don't want to pull them all. Okay. Pull back. In fact, we can leave this one here, just to defend. Definitely don't want to lose the priests. At this point, I'm going to put them on a separate hotkey. Just grab that for now. No, 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 don't go that way. Just want to grab these to grab the next one. You need to... Damn. Hard work. Right. Just wait for the recharge. Oh, we should be able to grab this guy next. Two priests. It kind of takes away some of the element of uh, RNG. With one, it's very, very risky because it's very easy for the enemy just to uh, kill the priest before they capture it. It's kind of perfect that the one elephant's kind of attacking the other. We kept one alive, that's the main thing. And we kept most of our stuff alive as well, so I'll take that. Focusing now very heavily on veil production. So next up we want to build a uh, siege workshop and grab a uh, catapult so we can blast our way through these sentry towers. We can free the villagers in the base to the north here. Build up a second TC and then start our gold production.
Okay, we've got just enough gold to build one catapult or stone thrower. Continue the villager production at this point. So taking down this gives us access to another two stone throwers um, which we can then use to push through the enemy um, defences with ease. But the problem is we can't outrange the tower, only the stone throwers can. We can actually use the elephant to tank and then use the priest to heal, that is also a very viable strategy. It's just very slow. Because elephant archers don't really do a huge amount of damage to towers. I also want to build a granary, which I shall build here, I guess. Unfortunately, all the upgrades that increase like range um, of stone throwers is um, researched at um, the government building, but I need gold in order to actually fund the research, which is something I don't have right now. Uh, a lot of this area is not connected by sea. To be fair, we're still kind of focusing on our eco anyway at this point. Marketplace, build one of those over here. Build time reduction is never a bad thing. It's all the resources I've got excess of anyway. Gonna build some. To be fair, we're gonna build. Um, there's a wall here that kind of connects um, their main base. Okay, that's not good. Rude. Well, that's fine. We've done most of the damage that we needed to anyway with those stone thrower. Go ahead and grab the next army over here. Uh, there is also gold over here that we can grab. And gold is a very finite resource on this mission.
you gonna leave them there? Let me go around rain. I'll we'll spot click that. I also want to grab these guys. I want to take down a lion that's defending some gold over here. Wait, boys. We definitely want to race towards our next age up to. Gold is just here. There it is. Let's build some stables. Okay, aging up is the next thing we need to do. We need to upgrade our um, siege equipment so they actually outrange the towers. This is my favourite track in the game. The Huns are coming. Such a lush track. In fact, I don't need these right now. What I need is to upgrade them first. Unfortunately, in this game, units don't get upgraded as you um, level them up. Well, as you upgrade them, I've noticed that sometimes they don't actually upgrade the units that are active. And since gold is such a finite resource on this mission, So I think the best unit composition is definitely getting lots of catapults for all stages of this mission. Like three or four is perfect. Um, it's worth maybe grabbing a couple of priests. Um, then honestly, horse archers are pretty much the... Uh, one of the strongest units you can get. Um, you can also get a couple of cavalry. Cavalry are good throughout all stages of this mission. So the upgrades we want, definitely the Siege Engine one, that's huge. Definitely want to upgrade two catapults. This is also definitely an upgrade worth grabbing, as is this one. This is definitely a good option to grab as well. Then you just got the normal upgrades as well.
Okay, they do upgrade. Good to know. I wonder if it's just um, units you capture that don't upgrade then. And the ones that you build do. I actually want to grab this one where we can actually capture buildings. There's a dock we want to capture. It's a hard thing to click on that one. This point. Yeah, see these ones don't upgrade, so I think that's one I captured. And the other two are ones I built. So this doesn't have enough range, even though it's plus one range, it's Ranges work works really weirdly in this game. Like even you have to be like plus two range to truly outrange something. Being plus one range doesn't actually make the difference. And I don't know why. do here is use the priest to capture these no stop firing like I want these guys to defend the priest whilst they capture these buildings because they'll be useful for us these things will take down that Da 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 these guys to build cavalry. So there's quite a lot of units you can't actually build in this mission. Like you're very much restricted um, by what units you can create. I'm gonna grab a couple more of those. Actually, maybe just one more of those. So I want these guys to capture this. Siege workshop. In fact, we don't need to build that there. We can build that over here. Now, there's one other upgrade I want, which is this and this. Anything else I want to take down this guard tower? They actually outrange the site as well, which is pretty insane with uh, these catapults. I do want to upgrade them once more to the uh, highest level. I definitely don't want to destroy any buildings here. Grab the, that and that. We also need to take care of the. Um, ships but the dock is what we really want Build a couple more 
Archery ranges. Heavy transport. I'm on a few of them. Actually, we could probably utilize that if I get these guys to stop following the mind. At this point, we probably want to start killing some vills. Don't want a few on wood cutting, not too many. very useful. More gold here for us as well, which is definitely worth us grabbing. We should kind of just select one unit to uh, unload. Let's go grab these guys. The gold. Alright, so this is a bit of a risky play, but Because the enemy's got triems. We do want to be careful here. I don't want to skirt the south border, or the south coast even. I'll just take care of their boats first and foremost. Now we can put them back on. Do you want to upgrade these? I just want to use these because they're outranging the enemy basically. So at this point we want oh, not chariot archers. Not cavalry. Horse archers mostly. Oh, you can see that one's still raining. The enemy is going to attack us if we drop on the island. This is the main one, but we also need to take care of the ad, so we are going to drop here. Let's 
so you take care of all the uh, towers with these guys. Put them on hold fire so they don't um, friendly fire basically and start firing on all of our troops. At this point, we can pretty much just run to the, for the win. He doesn't really have any troops left, or at least not many troops. And the ones they do have, we can pretty much just pull out of position. Why are these guys stuck? And all we actually have to do is capture the artifact. If there's any enemies up here, we can basically just kill them, but there's not. We've been cleared out. You have sacked Susa and defeated the Elamites, a magnificent achievement that will be remembered for ages. Now all that remains for you to do is safely return the statue of Marduk to Babylon, along with the loot that we took from Susa. Alrighty folks, well that'll worry about do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. If this is the kind of content you enjoy, then please do consider subscribing to the channel. It does help support the channel and would be greatly appreciated. Do let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. And as always, I shall see you in the next video.